Yeah, um, you know, throughout the game, had had a number of opportunities uh, to seal the win, uh, and then just uh, you know, bouncing ball in the box. Um, you know, we talked about it before the game. That is the uh, the danger zone. You know, I hear it leave it. Uh, I assumed it was Steph, but it wasn't. I just got to hook that thing clear. Um, so a little miscommunication, but even so, we had you know two or three chances after that to uh, to bang away some goals. But um, you know, obviously, nobody in here is satisfied with a draw, um, especially at home. But at the end of the day, the the dialogue in here after the game was if we keep playing like that, we can find ourselves getting on a good run here. You kept LA Galaxy, who's been powerful, really to zero chances, maybe one. Your thoughts on the defensive end? Yeah, um, you know, we were solid tonight. Um, you know, um, but you know, still didn't get the win, so that's the most important thing that matters. Um, so we'll, we'll we'll continue to build, um, continue to limit teams from having chances, and now the test is: can we, you know, get a few results on the road um, um, without a loss, and, and we, then we come back home for for two. So this is a this is a big stretch, a big three game stretch for us. Uh, we go into a difficult place. We was also had a coaching change in in Orlando, so we, you always expect to see a little jolt, a little burst of energy. So um, it's going to be a tough situation. Difficult weather, difficult place to play, but at the end of the day, we're all in this together to, to make a run at this thing. This game concludes a, a pretty eventful week. Can you put it in a nutshell? I mean, what was it like for a veteran like yourself? Yeah, I think, you know, looking back on it now, I think it was good. Everything happened on one day. It was, uh, you know, get the hoopla out of the way and then continue to build throughout the week. So it was Monday we found out, Tuesday let it soak in with a day off, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, th yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, get, get back after it. So, um, I thought it was good. Get out of the way, um, you know. And I thought that the guys put in a very good effort this week and, and a very good effort today. Schmidt said that he sort of left you guys to it after his brief post-game talk and kind of let you guys hash it out. Well, what was sort of your message to your teammates? Yeah, well, listen. I think everybody, like like I just said, I think everybody had something to say. But the most important thing was that it's good that we're not happy with the point at home. That was, you know, kind of the narrative. But also, there was some good stuff today. Um, let's be honest. So um, well, we've got to be true to ourselves that now we've, we've got to start picking up results, of course. We know that. But if we play like this, that we will continue to get chances and continue to be on the right end of results. For sure. And did Nico have anything to say? Of course, yeah. Yeah. He said, keep building, keep building. And, and we're going to do this thing together. Um, you know, so Clint. Nelson, Ozzy, you know, Chad, uh, after the game, everybody having a little piece, a little piece of the pie, a, a little bit of a word afterwards saying that, let's do this, let's keep it going. If we play like that, we'll, we'll find ourselves in, in, a good, in a good spot. You've seen a lot of new players come in through the years. Is that uncommon to have a guy come in week one and be of willing course, to? Yeah. I mean, the, the positive is that, you know, we bring in somebody that's mid-season form. Um, in the past, it hasn't necessarily been that way. Um, you bring in a top quality player who can keep the ball in the final third like that, combined with Clint. He sees past that not a lot of players do. Um, so he draws defenders as well, open up space for others. Um, he's, a, he's a high quality addition and I think that um, having him fit, being able to play 90 minutes on turf in his first week is, uh, is, is extremely commendable, but it's also great for us in, in our last you know, 13 games to push now. Sure. What do you see from him uh, specifically, Ladero that is? Yeah, I mean, he's obviously an extremely skillful player, one who uh, can keep the ball. If he gets touched, he's a small enough guy that he's going to fall over. So defenders play a little bit off of him, and that creates space. It allows him to turn. Um, like I said, he, he sees passes that not a lot of players do. Um, his service of the ball was was good on corner kicks and free kicks tonight, but he, he busted it for 90 minutes. And he was the one on the field saying, let's go, let's go, keep it up, keep it up, keep the ball, keep the ball. So that's he's, he, he's a massive addition to the team, and, and you know I'm excited to get yet another week of training this week heading into Orlando with him. Brad, how were you guys able to limit LA's shots? Was it marking in the in the middle and then ball possession? How we Well, before the game we spoke about we're always going to keep one of the outside backs in. I think in games before, you know, you look at Portland, the way that we conceded goals, both outside backs are pushed up and it's just Chad and I and, and sometimes maybe one of the midfielders with us. So 3v2s, we're letting too many 3v2s leaving too much space for a counterattack. So making sure that we always have an outside back with us. And when we do that, we allowed our two midfielders to drop in and, and always having one of those guys sit in front of us, bottled it up, made them play outside and uh, winning crosses, winning second balls, being able to play out of the back. Did you say on the goal that you thought that um, Steph had called you off? Was that yeah, just I just yeah, I just thought I heard a leave it, but apparently it was one of their guys. So um, you know, there's one guy right behind me and then another at the far post. So you know, it's inside the six. It's on me to hook that ball out, but I'm also facing my own goal. So it's put me in a crappy position. Um, probably make the mistake mentally, um, you know, but pick your head up and, uh, you know, you hope you get another one in the last 10 minutes. Didn't turn out that way. 
Brad, it's another performance where you guys are, look good, the underlying play, but the final result isn't mm -hmm. there. How do you juggle the need to see the positives with the need to emphasize the final result? The urgency, of course. I think there's always going to be an underlying uh, urgency now, of course. Um, the positives you can take away are <clears throat> it's a new beginning. That's what we said before the game. It's a new beginning. and. and Anytime you bring in a new coach, um, a couple new players, it can add a jolt and it can add a little bit of something to, to the mix. And I thought that we saw that today. Um, and at the end of the day, it's finishing our chances, of course, number one. Um, but I know that guys will be out early to training tomorrow, take a rest on Tuesday, and, and we'll keep putting our head down. You know, you talk to Jordan after the game, he's going to keep putting his head down, keep working to get on the end of the, getting on the other things and banging him in the back of the net. So the only thing that we can do is put our head down and work, stay positive as a group, um, start checking off boxes as the points come and as the points go. And as we get nearer and nearer to our, to our goal, make the playoffs.